it's Amanda, welcome back. Today I'm going to do another one of these ladle pours. It's some kind of like a ladle strainer. I got it at a kitchen store at the Outlet Mall in William Williamsburg when I was on vacation in October. I mostly just want to play music and speed this up because I've done this before and I'm just wanting to test some new colors and some different paints that I didn't have before. And I don't really have a lot else to say. So I think for my next few videos, I'm probably gonna do shorter ones where I just speed them up and um, I'll put the colors and everything in the description below. And I might put the colors on the screen if they're ones where I don't talk or I might just do an intro where I tell you my colors and then do the rest with music and then be back to talk to you for the close-up. But the colors I'm going to use today are Arteza Pastel Yellow, Arteza Silver Gray, Arteza Metallic Wine Red, Master's Touch uh, Black, and Arteza Coral. Um, I, I will talk real quick here for a second. Um, a couple of my last videos have been using the Arteza Iridescent pouring paints, but I also ordered a couple of things that have, um, these are eight ounce bottles, but I have, I ordered some more sets that have four ounces of both iridescent and non-iridescent Arteza paints. And I know I did one a couple videos back um, where I had Master's Touch and Arteza paints together and the iridescent next to the solid colors made some really nice effects. So I was really hoping um, to do one soon with my ladle because I already get some really neat effects by pouring through the ladle, but I want to see what happens whenever I use these solid paints with this metallic wine red. Um, I don't know if the metallic paint will cause the effects like the iridescent ones did or not, but that's something else I can test out. Maybe next week I can do some iridescent and non-iridescent paints with the ladle pour. Um, but this week, I'm going to use these colors and I will add some music and let's get started.
Welcome back. I did a lot of that without talking. Um, I just enjoyed the process and I hope you enjoyed it as well with the music. And um, I personally am in love with this. I had no expectations, but this is so cool. I can't wait to try this again. I love these ladle pours. I did one that didn't quite work out. Um, and I think, I just love, I thought it didn't work out, but I guess that's just the look of it, where you get these spots where just all the different little paint drips are, or like where I started out going off center because I knew the way the canvas was on level that the paint was gonna run this way. So I kind of started up here and you can kind of see where this part has run, like, moved. There's been more movement, like the paint was running here, and here it is more like just drips. And I kind of love that dichotomy of the painting where you get this, where it's all close together. Well, not all, but like it's closer together in a lot of spots. And there where it's more stretched out in some lines. I just, I really love that. Um, I love these colors. I don't often use just a lot of pastels, and I but the pastel yellow and the coral were really beautiful colors. And I love how that silver gray has muted that black so much. Um, I knew that the pastel yellow and the coral were very light colors, so I wanted the the metallic wine color was darker, but I also wanted like something light and something dark like white and black, but instead of white, I chose to use that silver gray and I love that. I think it goes with these colors so much better than maybe white would have. And I just love it so much. I'll take you down for a close up and thanks as always for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye. Okay guys, I'm so sorry. I just went to take my phone off the tripod and I realized I didn't have the flash on my phone while I was recording that. I do have a recording light to the left and I have two overhead lights on, but it's nighttime and while well, I prefer to work at night, but anyway, um, you might not have gotten as good of a look at that as I had hoped, but um, I'll use my flash on my phone for my close up so you can see all the little details in there. Let me see if I can zoom in from just here and move you a little bit so that you can maybe see it a little bit like right now before I take the phone down for the close up. But I just love that so much. There's someone that's not into abstract art may just think that this looks like a mess or like a mistake but I love all of the teeny tiny little details in it and that's what I think makes contemporary abstract art so interesting and so unique because every single person can use the same colors, the same tools and everything, but can all get different results. And then what you see when you look at the piece, like trying to see what it looks like to you, your brain makes up your own story for what is going on in the piece based on your own personal like thoughts and feelings and experiences and emotions and stuff. And that's just what I think is so cool. So anyway, I love this one so much. Um, I'll take you down for a close up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'll try to go in for the close up. I can see kind of a face in the center of that. I um, and then I can see water and mountains and forests and just a whole, it's a landscape, like, um, maybe like in a mountain area, like, I see a lot of the gray, like for stones, like the mountains, but anyway, I'll go in. I decided to use a round canvas this time. This is the first time I've used this round canvas. Um, you can see a little bit of that um, 
kind of speckling effect. I think that's from the metallic paint. I used, I got that in my ladle pours that I used my own pearl white with as well. So that's just kind of what effects happen with this ladle as the paints kind of all run and drip together. But just all of these little lines and details and it almost looks monochromatic. It almost looks just like black, white, and gray. But then there are those touches of that metallic wine, which gives it like an earthy tint. And that's what makes me think of like mountains and rocks and water. And then you can barely see the pastel yellow and the coral. So I'm hoping like that part right there has some of it, but it's so muted because of that silver gray. But I like the way that that turned out though. This looks like a river um, coming from this side. Just water, um, rap like water, like white water rafting like rapids or something. But anyway, I just love how this turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll probably use this ladle again next week with a different mixture of Arteza paints with some, maybe some Master Touch paints. I may even, I have one more round canvas. I may even use that again next week. I, um, eventually I'll get back to more than one video per week, uh, but I'm, I have other stuff I've been working on, so for now it's one a week and that makes me enjoy it so much more. So, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed week. Bye.